We actually don't have to announce it. Really? Yeah. That's. Oh, that's just weird. Um. So we have. Shit made every made all the meta decks. Well, we have handlock here. We have we have we have the three that we need pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we have like if we wanted to play warlock too. But yeah. What do you like? What do you guys want to start with? Either mage or druid. All right. True. Uh, all right. All right. Let's go Probably. with druid. Because like a. The most Honestly, consistent I, I, overall. I, like if I were to open blind, I'd either open druid or warlock. Yeah, I, I wouldn't yeah. open up warlock because a lot of people open up druid. And that's that's not a good matchup. So it's probably yeah. I'm assuming it's gonna be druid v druid, and then yeah, we can have like a pocket mage if we lose that. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll see what he starts with because maybe we should pull out the aggro rogue. <laughs> no one would expect it. Oh yeah, shit, paladin. Okay. Oh, if it was, actually, uh, Mage is actually pretty, I think Tempo's pretty good against that. Mm -hmm, this, is like, this is pretty good. Toss, boom, druid. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Do you want to get the... I want to keep the shredder because we have the Dern Asses here already. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, oh that's shit. Pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah. Indeed. So if he, would you coin out Dardassus? Yeah, because if, um, if, if he kills, kills it, it, I can play Wild Growth and I can still play Shredder on 4. Yeah, alright. And then, because the, the, the only way he can kill it is if, if you coin it out, is if he drops something turn 1 and then boots its attack on turn 2. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can't do 3 damage to it on turn 1. That, it should be good then. Yeah. Especially because we have two four drop now, like we have. Oh yeah, that's beauty. You can if it's like the one health thing. If this doesn't die, we'll just play wild growth next turn. Or if we think that it's going to survive in their turn, we can hero power. Um, if he d plays something like shoot. So yeah, he'll. My my assumption would be shredder, um, juggler or mini bot. Mini bot, yeah. And it's probably what's the one that revives it with one health? Because that's redemption. Oh, he's definitely gonna play. Is he gonna play a um? Juggler next turn? Possibly. He might just play, um. Or. Must here for battle. And it could be, um. I don't know. Should we just go safe play Wild Growth? Face? The safe play is Wild Growth, but. You, you, if might, you, you don't want to attack them, because it might be Noble yeah. Sacrifice. Yeah. yeah. If you we think it's Noble support, Sacrifice, right. we should probably hero power to check. But. Uh, go for. Go for I would just Wild Growth. Wild Growth, have, yeah. Wild shirts, Growth and not yeah, attack. So. Yeah, Wild Growth and sit. Yeah. Force, force him to attack. It's not competitive spirit either. Then. No. Yeah, I don't, he wouldn't play it on turn one. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Nah, oh, man, it's all about the 3-3 three, three, um, shielded mini bot. Shield the shield mini bot. Alright, so... Oh, yeah, it's probably like... No, noble Sacrifice and Bravery would be my assumption. Oh shit. Um, he possibly has, um, it could be Noble Sacrifice and um, Avenge. Okay, I'm wondering. I yeah, think so if it's Avenge and Noble Sac, we should attack swing first. Swing and then. And then, deeper. yeah, silence whatever gets buffed. Yeah, that's exactly Whatever right. gets buffed is good as silence because they're both silence targets. Yeah. It's, so, so it's Avenge and Redemption. Yeah. So we could just play Shredder then. Yeah. What should be competitive spirit? Oh yeah, that one. Was... Oh, God. <laughs> that's hilarious. But still, so it's. Uh... It's actually better for not attacking there then too, like it's, into a minion because. It's avenge. It's avenge then. Yeah, it's avenge. Yeah, that... or it could it could still be redemption because we haven't traded yet. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. And these are both targets he wants to re have redemption. Yeah, they're really good for that. Does he have a good four drop? All right, let's see what you get. If he doesn't kill our Darnassus, we could squeeze in a hero power with a 4 drop. Yeah. Pretty nice. It'd be kind of sketchy if he didn't, though. Okay, so if it's Avenge, we have to keep her for it if we trade into a minion. If it's um, Redemption, it's really annoying to kill any of his minions, so we probably yeah, wait yeah. for him to have a crappy minion to test it. Yeah. Like, if he dudes up. Oh, he actually killed the Shredder, why? Like, yeah, that's not... Like, okay, so that's a good card for us right now. 
Do you want to kill the um, spider creeper? No, I I, I, I probably I, I I would probably raft the mini bot honestly I think, and then with your redemption. Yeah, that's the thing. I feel like haunted creeper is not as bad for to be redeemed. I'm just thinking like if it's avenge, like if if it's if okay. It's so avenge. if it's redemption, we could like hero power. Kill it, and then we can still innervate something out. If yeah. it's if it's um if it's, if avenge, it's we could just keep her. Yeah, then we just keep her. Okay. Yeah, but you want you want to secret one of the you want to secret either the creeper or the yeah. pilot shredder. That's yeah. why. Yeah. So we'll see. Yeah. So it is avenge or oh All right, so yeah, we so just it's keep her. So oh, this, that's science, actually really good. That's yeah. Really now your now your science gets like super good value because yeah. it's a silence one of their death rattles too. Perfect. Yeah. Now what should we? Um, just go face, kill the creeper. Just go face. Face. Face, sure. Because the only thing that could go really poorly is like, I don't know, if they get some value of a, a knife juggler. Mm -hmm. That would be like, the only... Well, they, they would have they would have gotten the value from the two spiders, I guess, if, if we killed it anyways. I guess it's a match. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's not nice trouble. Please, no must. If they have muster, though, that would actually be really unfortunate. Mm -hmm. We need a swipe. Yeah. Yeah, we have like no card draw. That's the only annoying thing about this hand. All right. Uh, is it hit? All right. Let's. Okay. Watch from both. Oh. <laughs> would you force the nature? Clear. Would you? Um. He only has one card left in his hand. If yeah. Yeah, it, it could be Mysterious Challenger. Yeah, like, if it's Mysterious oh, Challenger, then we should clear this. Yeah. I think so. So, so he's likely probably we, only running what? We one might as well innervate out the hero power so we could kill this too then. Exactly. The, yeah, yeah. Because these one ones don't really matter. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. And if he um, kings this. And innervate's not going to get any more value, anyways. No. Now we just have to hope for card draw or something big. Yeah. Well, we have a shredder, which is not bad. So we just have to hope he misses this turn. Yeah. Please no Christmas. Please, please be the Grinch. <laughs> please steal Christmas. Who am oh, I? Yeah, oh, there you go. Merry Christmas, motherfuckers. Well, it could actually be a second challenger in his hand too. Oh, watch should be boom. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, do you, oh, you don't have BGH in this deck, right? Yeah, I do. Oh, you do? Okay, okay. The best way to play around the secrets is just to develop... You can't have one minion and just attack because he would get the secret yeah. value. So, so we need just... two minions out. So Darnassus first and then Lothab, I think. Yeah, exactly. Darnassus is going to be one health, probably. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Do we prefer Shredder or Lothab? Um, I guess if he so trades us into the low, th actually, if we draw swipe, it doesn't matter. Yeah, both types not bad. Yeah, let's hope for a swipe or uh or a wrath. Let's see, doesn't compare spirits. So it's just avenge, no attack, and redemption. Oh, oh it was Doctor Boom. Oh. Wow, what a lucky curve! Holy, baby rage. Oh my god, that's... Uh, there's really not much you can do about that. Yeah. This is already a bad matchup. Yeah, I honestly think it was like lucky. It was just like, we, we like completely didn't consider them playing Paladin for some We're reason. Good. Yeah, it's, it's, it's actually a really good deck, I, in my opinion. Right, well... Especially when you curve out shit like that. Oh okay, so if they think we're going to play Druid again, what would they play? Uh, oh, the thing is we don't know what decks they're playing. Well, it's like, what are, yeah, it's like, uh, we gotta consider instead, like, what they're gonna play. Like, I, they're probably either gonna be playing Warlock or Warrior now, in my opinion. But they could, they might also try Tempo Mage or Priest on us. Or, or Hunter, like, they can even play Midrange Hunter. No, I feel like these guys wouldn't really play Hunter, like, they, well, they, they wouldn't play. Opening. They wouldn't play Warlock into Druid. Yeah. So I would think they would play um, probably Patron Warrior if they're playing Patron Warrior. 
If you're playing Patreon Warrior, do we want to play Hemlock? Yeah, do we take a risk and show a second deck and hope for the best? <laughs> yeah, it complicates things a little when it's blind, yeah. Um... Do you want to try mid range? Like, and probably like Patron Warrior is safe. That's true. Yeah, let's let, let, let's just go for a patron warrior. Yeah. If, if we win one, we at least tie it up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like when you're behind. I don't know if you're if you're playing safe from behind. It's usually not the best. I feel like they're going to try to go for temple mage. All right. You're a temple mage or patron warrior. That's the sucky thing about not knowing decks is like, it, it, you literally can turn into anything. Yeah, it's just a. Ra I don't understand that rule only because you could just bring nine decks. Yeah. And just play anything you want. Yeah. It's just like a ladder. Alright. Mm. So that last game, I don't think we could have done anything differently. No, no. That was a disgusting curve. Like, that is like the 1 in 10 games that you hope for on ladder. <laughs> Alright, Rogue. That's oh. Good. That's actually, yeah, that's, isn't that a really good matchup? For us? Kind of yeah. Of rogue they're playing, I guess. I would assume yeah. it's Oil Rogue. Yeah, because the thing is, like, there's, they gain tempo off of, like, the board, but we don't really put much on the board for a while. Mm hmm People used to think Oil Rogue was better, but, um, you just play differently as Patron Warrior. Um, I think about throwing everything back. What's your reason for no armor smith? Uh, it doesn't well, do anything it doesn't against them. Really do really. We'd rather try to get death spite. I think. Yeah, death spite. Okay. Acolyte. Card draw. You need card draw. All right. I, I would keep emperor if I had to coin. I but... would have kept ET. Yeah. But... but since I don't have to coin, I want to get the card draw. And we got the we hit the unstable coin. The acolyte. It's pretty good. If I play the ghoul, it's most likely not going to die on turn 2. Unless he coins out deadly poison. Backstab. He oh, he could, he could backstab. So I guess we could go for the armor smith then. Well, the, the ghoul gives away right away that it's patron, so... Yeah. yeah, but they're going to find out by like turn 4 anyways. <laughs> Probably. Let's see. Oh, we're going to get damage. Oh wait, never mind. No, no, we're not. Uh, I don't really like playing Acolyte into here because of deadly poison just gonna kill it. Yeah. So I'll probably just hit this armor up. Might as well armor, yeah. Yeah. Oil Rogue is really easy to um, OTK combo them. You can't rely on patrons because the uh, flurry is just gonna clear. Oh, okay. Um, that is fine. We have slime. Yeah. Let's see. Mm, I guess we go for it. Yeah. It's gonna be hard for us to barrage off our hero, but um, it's going to take a long time for the rogue to kill us. Then, if we stack up a lot of armor now. Yeah. Cause they only have so much removal. Yeah, and they have to deal with this. Oh. Uh, did did Lai go for you as well? Yeah, I'm gonna spectate him. Yeah, Jordan, you there? Oh uh, yeah, sure. Okay, good. Yeah, we'll we'll just spectate you. Sure, sure. You can turn off the screen share then. Yeah. Yeah, we'll save some bandwidth. Okay, so what do you think here? Should we execute this? One sec, loading up. Uh, probably, yeah, it's like his biggest creature. Oh, yeah. But we don't have to, like, we could do Unstable Ghoul and Acolyte this turn. Uh, no, I still like executing it before he... F well, Because he, though, he has to trade first before he does. And uh, we have Whirlwind, so... Yeah, we have not. Whirlwind too, so it's not even that important right now. Yeah, I'm okay with that, actually, because then we can actually... And this, get is, on, this is on curve. Yeah, because then um, we if we Whirlwind too, then we can Battle Rage off of that. Mm -hmm. We could even patron battle rate. <laughs> no. Or patron we need a bit more mana. Yeah. 
If we do an inner rage, patron battle rage, or sorry, patron whirlwind. Um, um I would have to wait. Until, I would have to wait till like turn eight or something to play all that, so I could battle rage refill the cards. Because I don't want to put patrons on the board unless I can battle rage with it. Okay. I might go for a flurry here, anyways. Yeah. Yeah, this has to be flurry. Okay, that's fine. Because the the way we set up goal, it just kills his tokens, anyways. Yeah. Oh, okay. I get another one. Oh. Just got a coin. Is he gonna... The dudes are a liability oh, anyways right now. Shit. Oh, good thing well, we kept the uh, execute. Yeah. Oh, okay. uh, Two. Oh, that's perfect. that's perfect. I think we have to tank the eight here to there execute. You Wait, what? Yeah. And save the whirlwinds? Yeah, that's. Yeah. Well then, then we can also get battle rage procs why, like from. Why not? Why not use a death spike to kill the violet teacher? Oh yeah, actually yeah, we're going to take the eight anyways from this, so we might as well kill the violet teacher. Yeah, sure. Because if we just attack again next turn, we're going to be damaged. We could draw cards off. Um, probably won't play patron. Alright. Yeah, that's yeah. true. We're attacking this anyways. I mean, we're taking one eight, one point of eight damage from here anyways. That's okay. This. Uh, next turn, probably. This is fine. We'll clear his board no matter what he does next turn. I feel like, unless he, mm -hmm. I don't know. yeah, because it kills all of his army minions like Drake. His his best creature is like either Azure Drake or Violet Teacher, and that will die in the hit. To yeah. Death bite. And then I'm probably going to execute and play Et. Yeah. That's okay. Oh. Yeah, he's okay. definitely... So he's not playing anything this turn. Unless he does Temple SI. Oh. Temple oh. SI it is. Yeah. Oh, SI. Oh, okay, that's, that's, that's good. That's, that's really fine. Good. We gain more value on our death bite. That's All fine. Right. If his board, as long as his board is cleared, he can't get, like, oil value, really. Yeah, so we do this and play ET, I think. Sure. Ooh. <sighs> nice, nice. And we could get out if we think we're getting, we have the shield block too to pump up life a bit. It's like golden ET, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. I totally unpacked it. <laughs> My God. This is Sap. Backstab. Yeah, backstab Ubis. Probably backstab. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Backstab, nice. this. Oh yeah, someone keeping track of the cards. Or... Uh, no, I oh. wasn't. It's not that. Uh, kind of, in my head. That's the second deadly poison, I guess. Yeah, he used no eviscerates right now. Well, he didn't use two deadly poisons. That... what? That is the second one. Is it? Yeah, yeah cause oh, he used the... the... Oh yeah, oh yeah, they flurry, yeah. 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 Okay. Alright, um... shield block. So we could... Yeah, we should shield block first, because we could play our whole hand anyways. I, I'd be careful, because like, if he blade flurries our patrons, that's yeah. really bad. Um, yeah. Would you want to drop a naked Dread Corsair? Like, kind of just make him waste the weapon. Nah. Uh, At this point, well, he's he not going to attack with his weapon anyways. Well, then you get three damage in. Oh yeah, that's true, and he loses his dagger? That's yeah, true, like, that's true. I, I really, like, there's not a huge I negative it, yeah. consequence to... And he has to, like, if he's not attacking with his dagger, he has to do two stuff to it, like, backstab SI. And yeah. he used one of each. I'm just worried he's gonna, like, blade flurry and clear a board or something. Yeah, if, if no, that's... Get patrons out, yeah. yeah, that's definitely a risk. He still has one in his But if deck. we get patrons out, we still... We could draw three cards off of it. 
Yeah, we still get card draw, so. Of uh, one, two. No, we would draw four cards. Oh, shit, yeah. We could draw five yeah. cards next turn if we want to use double whirlwind. Should probably but... assume Blade Flurry is in his hand at this point. Oh, and yeah. he attacks. Well, well he, he has oil, so. Yeah, he has to clear. Ooh, but we can sack one. Or do yeah, we, we can do sack we... one now. Um, do we want to use both whirlwinds, though? No, that's the thing. I don't Like, really we want... only have one ghoul and one death bite after this. Yeah, should we. Do you want to just use one and get two card draw? Well, it would be three because wheel damage. Oh no, it would be one. Yeah. Only two. Yeah. Two. Um, yeah, face because, and patron. Yeah, yeah, face and patron. Do you want to go for that? Probably not. Because uh, like, though, like he's gonna start developing his board. That's uh, the one. Yeah, that's true. He drew cards. We could. We could. I don't and mind. It's like, it. oh, oh, oh it's like use the more. One. Yeah, use the more expensive ones. Yeah. Hopefully draw into the second barrage. Rage. Hmm. No. Alright. This is actually kind of annoying for him to deal with. <laughs> yeah, and because he'd have to tink uh dagger, tinker, use his last blade for you. Yeah, or use double evit or if this and SI could clear it. But he has to combo something ahead of time. Um wait. Did we also get Drake moves? backstab. Wasn't didn't we? He already is. How many SIs has he done? Is it just one. one? It's only yeah. used one. He has right. another one. He has not used a single eviscerate. We have yeah. to save these cards to kill him though. For sure, we need Warsong. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And for sure. We need Warsong. Oh, Pilot and Shredder. Oh, Fred. oh, Tinker. Probably going to flurry. Yeah. That's all his flurries then. Yeah, that's both his flurries. Yeah. Nice. Alright, what do we got? So we could produce four patrons. Smack the 3-1 nice, into nice, his 7-3. Nice. And then how does he deal with all of our patrons? Because he just used two flurries. He'd have uh, to evis, evis. He, he had the spell power fog, probably. Like, he has two drakes and Thanos. Well, then he one oil. Fog, he has two evis. We're going to have at least three patrons, maybe more, if we can bounce off the shredder target. Yeah. So, uh, I think it's pretty safe to go for it. Yeah, I always mean we might be dead. I'd go, for it. I'd go for it. I'd go for it. He already wasted one fuck too. So. All right, let's see what we got. One five one goes shredder into number it. one. Be please be an unstable ghoul. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. That's fine. What was it? I spectate slow. Oh, uh, grunt. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's really good. <laughs> so we have one Warsong and two Frothings left. One Death Bite and one Ghoul. Alright, what's he got to do with One Axe. Well, one Battle Rage. Okay. Azure Drake, if he draws Fock, that's. He still has two preps. So he might be able one. to no, one, one, prep. one prep. Okay, he just play um, two Drakes prep fan. Oh god, that would be. <laughs> oh, that would actually be so dirty. Or Thanos fan. He played one fan already though, so I don't know if he has two. Yeah, because usually they only run. Okay, he doesn't have it. He doesn't have right. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, no, he's that's, just. That's not a winning play. I recall, I, I like this is almost as bad as that other war that executed one of the patrons. Yeah. So. Yeah. Really bad for him. yeah. Oh, that's what nice. Lethal boys. <laughs> nice, we win. GG. Well, we know right. he has an oil rogue. Then that's good. Yeah, he has like, to play rogue. Yeah, he has to play the rogue. And um, we're stuck with me. druid, though. Hmm? We're stuck with druid. <laughs> yeah. The druid is not bad, I guess. I mean, like I, not I don't. Uh, Druid's not that good against oil, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, but but was... hand, I think Handlock is pretty good against. Yeah. Oil Do you guys actually want to play oil, uh, Handlock? Yeah. Let me I think Handlock is really good against oil. Like, okay. Do you think he's going to kill Rogue again? I don't know. Well, like, well, he has he has the. Well, he, his third he, deck is probably like Druid or Warrior. 
Oh, his third deck is probably Patron, I think. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. So actually, yeah. then Warlock would still be good. Yeah, yeah. so I, I would say Warlock's a safe choice. I think it's Patron. I, I'm just going to assume everyone's here. Well, even if it's Control, like... Um, yeah, this is good against still Control. Decent. Um, against Aura Rogue, though, it's not even... It's not the greatest matchup still, because if he could play Aura Rogue good... Oh, okay, well, he's playing this again. Yeah, we got the Mountain Giant, so we have to. We're putting him on having like Sap. Well, yeah. we are going second, so it's like. I don't know. I might as well keep it, I guess. That's up to you. What do you think? Oh, yeah. I'm for sure keeping it. I'm just waiting for him to uh, get rid of his cards. Mulligan his cards. Yo, the game bugged out. It's not, it's not, uh, it looked like you discarded. Oh, <laughs> You're like, uh. Alright, yeah, that's good. That's good. You like bugged out really bad just now. What the heck? You have Golden Boom, Molten Shadow Flame, but the Sun Fairy Protector is. Uh, yeah! Uh, yeah, my uh, handlock's not full. I have the Golden Thoughts. Get it Go together. Golden Handlock is really expensive. Yeah. Like the Golden Boom and the Golden Giant I got from like Pax and the. Um, really? Chess. Wow, the Naked SI. It's good. Oh, nice. Hey, we got it. Yeah, might as well play it. So we'll just play the Mountain yeah. Giant next turn. Yep. Let's, let's just hope he doesn't have sap. We could coin out Thorson on uh, 5, then play Boom on 6. Yeah, that was a perfectly timed Dark Bomb. Like, he misses 4 drop yeah. too, that's like huge, because he yeah, can't play a minion to answer our giant. So, so he, he, has to play has... he has to play he defensively has to against our giant. He probably, yeah, then that means he can't do anything next turn. Even yeah, though. because he doesn't have he a 4 drop, it. so if he saps, he only has 3 mana left. Next turn we're playing Thorson. Then we have Boom. Okay, if, yeah. if we win this game, we have to beat Oil with Drew, which kind of sucks. Um, I'm not sure how much how the matchup is now that we have. Um, uh, well, it looks like uh, Thorson's not coming out. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I'm not too sure how the matchup is now with the um, Darnassus. Because I haven't played against Oil Rogue on ladder. Mm. Okay, so 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Three, five, you we could tap watch. first and play Watcher, go face. Yeah, yeah. We could also trade, but I don't know. But yeah, because then he might just be able to wipe off the board. He could sap it off the board. And yeah. then, if he does sap it, we're in trouble because we lose all that tempo. 3, 5, 7, 9. And we would actually mill a card. To be honest, I'd, I'd probably kill it. Cause, yeah, uh, I'm, I want to trade it too. That's if true. Because if he oils his load dev. Yeah. Anyways, like, and saps or some shit. If he has the god hand things. of like, double prep, double oil. Well, what do we got here? Deadly poison. Okay. Okay. He's gonna take eight damage then. Yeah, and he doesn't even get to keep his dagger. That's good. Um, I th I'm thinking about coining boom here. Sure. Because he clearly doesn't have sap in hand. Mm -hmm. Wait, like what? Thorsen could be answered pretty easily. Yeah. He backstabbed the ancient watcher for. I think he for just, yeah, he he just wanted to do. All right. I think Boom here is good, right? Or another play you could do, clear the board with um You Shadow could Shadow Flame. Flame and Coil, but we don't develop it. But then you, it yeah, gives exactly. him a turn it gives him a turn to sprint. So I would yeah, I would I would boom. I would boom. And then you always have it there because yeah. it's not like he's going to Thorsten's probably Thorsten would probably die for free from the one ones. Yeah. And it's not like you're going to he's going to attack the Ancient Watcher, so it's essentially still there for four cost uh flame strike. Yeah. And he's not going to sap boom. Nope, I, I sat through before, I felt so bad. <laughs> yeah, and like if he doesn't do anything, we could. And he overcommits to a board, we could uh, Shadow Flame Coil. Yeah, and then. Even shadow flame, and we uh, could still tap or play the Sun Fury. My eyes are open, I think. He hovered himself. He yeah, has yeah. The three, three guy. It's, yeah. It's he has, he has it in his Did game. he have Forest here last time? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. He right. healed himself. Oh. Okay. Okay. okay so we don't even one, need well, to show Flame. Forest is pretty irrelevant. It's not going to make a big difference.
I guess we would have to be this afraid of a big Wait, flurry so turn. Okay, this is probably a good shadow flame turn, I think. Ooh, yeah. but we got Lothab. Ooh, that's true. We could just Lothab beside face. our Watcher, taunt up, and then I'll go face. Yeah. He can't play any spells. I would. So, I like, actually... the only reason yeah, why I would want yeah. Shadow Flame for is that. for go the for uh, play. Play. For clear. For sure, for sure. That's. That's. Really good. Uh, let's see. Oop. Yeah, you can't kill these dudes without spells. Oop. Oop. Yeah, that's, that's actually huge. So then he has to drop creatures, and then we... They yeah, have he, he can't even play Blade Flurry, because he has to develop a weapon first. <laughs> to be honest, this guy has balls for bringing a... Uh, rogue, well, rogue yeah. into a tournament. Alright, so he's just dead. That's game, yay. <laughs> Alright, so our handlock deck is gone too. <laughs> Fuck conquest. <laughs> <laughs> now we can't play handlock either. Don't know what his third deck is, and we have to play druid. He still has rogue, yeah. That's yeah. fine, we have two chances with druid, I think it's pretty good. Well, we we uh, uh we are we are we allowed to tech the druid because we didn't submit decklist or anything right? We're not allowed to sideboard like we can't leave the oh. challenge. I'm pretty sure. All right, that'd be pretty unfair too. You could just tech your last oh, deck. Yeah, just... <laughs> <laughs> just like put in two yeah. oozes and a Harrison. Yeah, I. Uh... <laughs> That's what I was gonna suggest. Like... I think it's fine. It. Druid. It could be zoo. Because he knows that we had Druid love, so he might might play Druid. I, must I think it's probably Handlock. Well, you think? Because he knows we, we have to play Druid, so... And Zeus good against Druid. But I'll throw back everything anyways, I think. Would you keep one of the Raps, maybe? I don't know. Well, if it is Handlock, the Raps don't do anything, right? Yeah. I guess not. He dumped three, of his, three out of four cards, so... Leaning more towards Handlock. Mm. Our hand's bad no matter which one we pick up. <laughs> so we can't answer Zoo. Oh, it's uh, Handlock. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's Handlock. Oh, cool. Yeah, but do I use this to uh, cycle actually? Uh, maybe. Because the two damage isn't relevant no. from Chow. So we could use it to cycle. Yeah. Because our hand's sucks. so bad. Yeah, just do it. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. god. It's, it's okay. It's okay. This... Think about it this way. You wouldn't you're we're not drawing force of nature next turn. There's no chance of that happening. Yeah, we we'll just draw a savage roar. <laughs> there's 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 no chance to draw force of nature okay. next turn. Oh, See, that's, that's perfect. There you go. <laughs> coin hellfire. Coin hellfire. Let's oh man, this. if he coins hellfire. You big god. He can even he can hellfire sell anyways next turn. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Now we innovate force of nature. Ooh. Oh. oh. Do we play Savage Combatant, innovate, kill his Cause spell? how how would he get rid of Savage Combatant? Dark uh, Bomb trade. Dark Bomb Mortal Coil. Is the only way. Yeah. He has a lot of cards in his Do we innovate though? Or do I, we save I, innovate I for boom? I would. I would. I well, I don't know, cause like next turn we have a turn five play anyways. Yeah, we have a turn five play. We even have like a so, board clear turn. So six. we should we should innervate. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Innervate. His other answer could be um, Hellfire Coin Coil. That'd yeah, be pretty bad. But then we. Still or what have, we could like, do a... is um trade, and then we could unleash the shade if we want to play around that. Just to sneak in that three damage, if he wants to Hellfire Coin Coil. True. True. But I, I, I don't know, I'd wait until... Meh. So we're doing this, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'd go for that. So should um, we attack with Shade? Uh, I don't know, because that's like... I, I still personally wouldn't. Hmm. Okay. Like, Let's see if he does the Hellfire Coin Coil. Yeah, that would just be really unfortunate. It, it, 
but if not, then no. Nope. Okay, we're good. Watch this, keeper, keeper. Is that wait? Do you just Azure Drake face? The thing with if we play Azure Drake, like he's getting a really yeah, thick shadow, shadow flame. Yeah, but true. we can't kill his Drake. No. There's no way we could kill his Drake, so do we just risk it? I think you might have to. When are we ever going to play the Drake? Turn 9 with Slate? Yeah. <laughs> we could just use this cycle to find something to do on 6. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Most handlocks only run one Shadow Flame, so you can kind of try to, like, pray the god that... So should we, that should we unleash the Shade here, then? Because he has two really... targets he wants to hit. Yeah, um... We're doing 9, so he's down 17. He's not playing Giants yet. So this attack is going through. Yeah, that's going through for sure. Do we put him at 17 or? Cause we have two fourths of nature, so we just need Savage Work to Let's draw a it. combo. Attack, 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 attack. Cause if he does have Shadow Flame, we should have attacked, so. He gets one mana to do nothing, so. Yeah, exactly. And then we could develop Drew Claw into yeah. Boom, I guess. That's still not pretty good. They only run one shadow flame. <laughs> Usually. Roster. Yeah. yeah, one shadow, one health. Uh, it turns out this guy has two shadow flames. <laughs> Honestly, I think that's stronger in tournament play when you play decks that where you just. It's like, a lot more control. Okay, he doesn't, doesn't have, have it. Shadow. Yeah. No. No. He straight up doesn't have it. Like, he gave it away by hovering over the fucking shade. <laughs> yeah, and he, and he still has coin though, so what, would he, what would he do? He could play Giant Sun Fury. Like, that's pretty sick. If he had those. Giant, if he had Giant Sun Fury, we can probably clear with Swipe somehow. Because we got that. Oh, okay. Oh, he's he's scared of lethal. Well, that's fine. We just drop our druid. Do, do Yo, you, you know what? We could Druid the Claw charge. charge, we put him to 4, charge. and then we have yeah. Swipe, and we have him on having Heal Bot, and that's 5 out of 6 mana. Wait, you put him at 4? How? Oh wait, oh okay, yeah. He has to have Heal Bot, and then he has to clear this board. Watch so this, double, double Molten Giant Heal Bot. It still yeah, but he still can't um, taunt up. And he'll be at 12. And then he could trade two minions, and then well, uh, I guess we'll be two swipe, off. Our swipe does really good. Yeah. But if he doesn't have heal ball, he dies. He just straight up dies. So he has to have a lot of cards, like he needs to taunt up, he needs to play heal bot. If, he, if he's taunting up, he can't play heal bot. So we would just win here. Yeah. Oh, we, we just win. We win. Yeah. GG boys. 3-1. Not bad. Same as last week? Yeah. Feels good, man. <laughs> like, yeah, what? Well, he can't do it. Unless he has. Oh, dude, Earth and Ring Farce. Yeah. yeah, but even then. <laughs> no, he still no? dies. No. No, he still. Oh, oh, what's this? Oh, the Argus. Argus, Argus. Yeah. Yay. I, I I just I wanna look, right click on your portrait and say hello Oh you swipe the mountain giant by accident, no, I'm scared. <laughs> 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 Alright.